Welcome back to Blender Daily. In this quick tutorial, I want to show you how you can create realistic camera shake with the free Camera Shakeify add-on to make your animations a lot more interesting and realistic. Let me show you. Okay, so first of all, you need to download and install this free add-on from GitHub. And I'm just gonna put this link into the video description so you can quickly find this page. Then simply go to code and choose download zip file. With this done, we can jump into Blender where I already prepared something. But first of all, let's go to edit and open the user preferences. Here we wanna switch to the add-ons tab and click on the install button up here. Then simply search for the zip file that we just downloaded, select it and choose install add-on. I've already installed it, so if I search for Camera Shakeify, it should pop up right here. And then also make sure that you enable this checkbox right here, so that the add-on is active. Down here we can also see that it was created by Nathan Vectol and Ian Hubert. Okay, so in here I prepared this very simple, but also boring camera animation. So the goal of this video is to make it a lot more interesting and more realistic by adding camera shake with the add-on that we just installed. This should also make it look as if somebody actually recorded this with their camera. And this is actually really easy to do. For this just select the camera object and then go to the camera properties and down here you should now find the camera shakeify options. And if we now click on this plus button you can see that we already have a lot more movement in the viewport. And it still doesn't look right, so let's continue by adjusting those settings down here. So first of all, I wanna adjust the shake type. And if this is your first time using this add-on, I recommend you to go through the different shake types and just take a look at them. Some of them are really extreme and then others are very subtle. In this case, I already know that I want to go with the walk to the store animation. However, I think the default is a bit too strong. So let's bring down this influence value to something around 0.4, which already looks a lot better. Then if you want to, you could also adjust the speed. So if I bring this to two or even three, the animation becomes a lot faster or we could also bring this to value below one. So for example, 0.5, and now we get this very smooth and slow camera animation. But in most cases, you can just leave this at one. And if you want to, you could also offset the camera noise. So with this frame offset value, however, again, in most cases, this doesn't really make a difference. And if you want to, you could even add more than one camera shake to our camera. So for this, just click on this plus button in order to add more camera shakes. In most cases, this doesn't really make sense. However, I think this is useful if we want to transition between different camera shakes. So let's say we want to have to walk to the store camera shake until the camera stops right here. And then we want to switch to this investigation camera shake type. So in order to do this, we can go to a frame before the transition, for example, 260, and then just add a keyframe for the influence value of the walk to the store. So I'm gonna add this keyframe, then go a few frames after the transition, for example, 310, and bring the influence down to zero. Then do the same thing with the investigation. On frame 260, I want this to have an influence of zero, add a keyframe, then go to 310 and bring this up to let's say 0.5 and add another keyframe. And when we now play this, you can see that we have this nice transition when the camera animation stops. So I think this is a really handy tool to quickly add a lot of realism to your camera animations. I definitely recommend you to check it out. This tutorial is sponsored by Polygonic, the creators of the Botanic add-on. Botanic is a huge tree and nature asset library for Blender. All the models are of high quality and optimized for both Cycles and EV. There is even a free version available if you want to give it a try. Click the link in the video description for more information.
That's it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it interesting and you could learn something new. I am Nick from Blender Daily. See you in the next one.